Hi folks, I'm back with another uh, battery experiment to show you. And uh, I went to town today <coughs> looking for, well, to buy some building materials actually, but I, I found this, uh, this is a, it's a cooling cloth that you made to put around your neck to keep your body cool, just evaporative cooling. And I was reading the what it's made out of, and it's made from polyvinyl alcohol. And I thought, wow, I'm gonna. I bought that, and I uh, cut a little piece off of it, and I put it between the, the two electrodes, zinc on the bottom, stainless steel on the top. Put a few drops of distilled water on it here, and look at there. We got 65, 66, uh, uh, 0.66 uh, volts on it, and, and climbing slowly, and. Uh, and, and watch it. Watch the amps that produce it. Ready? Three, two, one. Look at there. Produces one milliamp, and it's just got nothing but distilled water on it and the PVA. All right. Let me uh, get some titanium dioxide together, and I'll be back, and we'll try it again. All right. I'm back, and I just took a little bit of titanium dioxide and spread on the back side of this uh, PVA towel and put it in there, and you can see we're we're over 70 uh, millivolts right now, or 710, still kind of still climbing. So we're at uh, 0.713 volts, and let's see what kind of amps we got now. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, two this time. So it doubled the uh, doubled the milliamps right there, and we're climbing back and it's climbing up a lot faster as you can see too and we got no uh, we got no graphite on this at all so just the titanium dioxide as Dr. Pollock uh, uh, said it creates a, uh, an exclusion zone all by itself which I knew that already from uh, early experience experiments I did but uh, I think that's pretty good just titanium dioxide and PVA no uh, no carbon at all no graphite so now I'll uh, add some graphite to this and we'll see what that does I'll be back all right I'm back again and I put a coat of graphite on top of the uh, PVA towel and look at our voltage now 1.256 and climbing still that's pretty nice with just uh, that is the highest I think I've ever gotten with just um, with just ti titanium dioxide and and graphite with nothing else I mean there's no borax linker or anything in that just water titanium dioxide and graphite and we've got 1.25 so now let's short it out and see what kind of amps we get right there. Ready? Three, two, one. Two, 27. And it's dropping nice and slow too. Let's do that again. And we're back up to 116 already. Real fast. Just their uh, self-charge on it. And then it looks like it's going to stop about 120. slowed slowing down real far so let's hit it right there at 118 ready three two one 26 look at that pretty nice slow uh, slow uh, discharge on that all right we're back to uh, 110 <coughs> point there uh, 1.10 almost there's 111 <coughs> and still climbing and so let's hit it again and uh, see what our amps are this time ready three two one 16 this time almost 17 I think okay boy it's uh I don't feel much water around the outside of this stuff either. It's uh, pretty much staying in that in that uh, in that cloth right there and evaporating out of that. I think 
But look, we're almost back up to 107 already. So uh, now, let's add a little borax to it and see what happens. Get a little linking agent going in there. Alrighty, let me drip a few drops of that on here. down a little bit. But let's see if the uh, let's see what happened to the amps here. Ready? Three, two, one. And it's about the same, sixteen. Should be nice to figure out why it starts uh, up there higher and then uh, always comes down to the same point. And then it starts to build back up again. That's a really weird. All right, we're coming up on our 103, and it looks like it wants to stabilize right there, like all the other ones. And it doesn't really matter if you have. Uh, electrolytes or what you got in it all of them seem to do the same thing all right so here we are at uh, there's our 1.03 and still a slightly slow climb going on so let's hit it now and see if the amps increased any ready three two one and it did a little bit 18.1 that time so it's still the same pattern There's 1.031. Let's test it again. Ready? 3, 2, 1. 19.1 that time. So our amps are going back up. Same, same, same old, same old. And we're back to almost 1 volt already. Alright, almost back to 1.03. Alright, there we are. Let's, uh, let's hit it again and see what we get. Ready? 3, 2, 1. 21 that time. Went on up again. Alrighty. Now let's take it apart and see if we got any kind of uh, bleed through or anything going on. See some titanium dioxide on there. Whoops, and I just rubbed some carbon on it. But uh, hell, I don't see any. Uh, I don't see any carbon coming through there. So that looks good. But there's definitely titanium dioxide on the uh, on the zinc plate there. Okay. Now let's try. Uh, let's put this back together. I saw a little spark coming off of that whenever I touched it on there. Alright, let's try putting a little mag sulfate on this now. And let's see what happens. Alright, that's pretty slow. Let's just hit it right there at point. It's almost point nine eight. Ready? Three, two, one. Sixteen. <laughs> I actually did worse. Which is pretty weird, and But, it may be that, I don't know, I'm, I'd be guessing. Of course, I guess at a lot of stuff, so. Now, this time, let's take the, let me get a little, uh, let me get a little bit of uh, phosphoric acid together, and we'll throw it on there and see what it does. I'll be back. All right, I'm back, and this is a little of phosphoric acid that I bought at the 
at the auto shop and it's not pure phosphoric acid because it's it's got a bluish green tint to it so and phosphoric acid is clear so it's got something else in it but we're going to we're going to drop off drop a few drops on here just for the hell of it because I know it's got it's only the only elephant the only thing listed in the ingredients is phosphoric acid but that's obviously not everything all right so there's and you can see our uh, amps are climbing like a, a rocket and I put about five or six drops on there so we'll put we'll put the same ten drops on it all right so there's ten drops of uh, magnesium sulfate and ten drops of phosphoric acid and we're up at 1.22 and climbing and we'll hit it it's probably going to go to about 1.25 I'm guessing but we're going to hit it at uh, 1.23 and see what we got Okay. I'm gonna stop right there. No. Nope. Alright, it's almost to one point there it is. One point two three. Ready? Three, two, one. Seventy eight. Whoa. That made a that worked better than just paper with this. Remember our paper we got to uh, uh fifty eight I think. Or no, no, no. We got 88 with this. And we're climbing back up. So it looks like this, uh, these PVA towels work, uh, work just as good or maybe better than, uh, than a piece of uh, paper. And I don't see any, I haven't seen anything bleed through it yet either. So we're at one. 15.6 and still climbing slowly. Uh, rather than wait for it to climb all the way back up, we'll just hit it right there at 116.3.4. Ready? 3, 2, 1. 87 that time. So it's going up. Almost up to 100 milliamps. 87. We'll try it one more time, and then it'll probably be about out of time. And it's 114, and this slow climb. Let's just hit it right there again. Ready? Three, two, one. 90 that time. Going up still. Voltage looks like it's still dropping slowly, but the amps are going up which is what we've seen over and over again. Alrighty, let's uh, let's take it apart again and uh, look in the inside and see if, if anything has bled through yet. And it looks pretty good, I, although I see Looks like I see one little spot right down there, but all in all, it looks like it's it's holding up pretty good without bleeding through. <laughs> Look at there, just the titanium dioxide between the two pieces of metal. All right, I guess that's it for for this one. I'm sure I'm about out of time, so. I'll be back with uh, another video. I don't know when. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.